Well, I've been at the meditation center for seven days now, and there's no talking, so this is, well, I have broken that rule. Um, I thought I'd take a few minutes. I'm not supposed to be doing this <laughs> to report that it's been quite challenging waking up at 3 a.m. every day, no eating after 12 noon, and meditating 14 hours a day. Um, but those aren't the things that really bother me. It's little things like standing in line forever for lunch, and the lunches are quite good. In fact, we have our lunch at 10.30. Um, it takes about 40 minutes to line up and walk over and get the lunch on your plate. Interesting, but um, it's a beautiful setting, and I've had some realizations here, and I have slowed down and feel much calmer. And I highly recommend doing it. I'm here three more days, and it's been very beneficial to have no distractions, no internet, no phone calling. But I'm starting to look forward to getting back to my life on the outside. It's just a little bit like prison, but it's a lot prettier, and people are very nice. And you know what was fun today? The cleaning. I cleaned the altar and was the tallest person so I could clean at the very top of the Buddha picture. And it was so appreciated and I enjoyed doing it and everything looked glowing and beautiful because everyone was cleaning and it was a beautiful group effort so everything's good. The birds are singing. Happiness from here in Myanmar. So I'm leaving the center right now, and I feel pretty high from it. I met beautiful people, and we didn't even really say that much, but you can feel everything about a person in their energy field around them, and um, lovely women. I think that was one of the best things about it, the beautiful people that were all meditating me around, around me, the woman from Japan, and um, her practice was so strong and helped mine. And uh, I think the hardest thing for me was slowing down. But I feel a little bit more mindful about that. And I'm going to, um, I'm committing to keep up my meditation practice because it's really helpful. So I'm off to Yangon and then on to Nepal. And you can read all about it in Vagabond because I wrote a big story about this um, being in the meditation center and all of Burma. The next issue is on Burma, so vagabond in the iTunes store. The link is below. <laughs>